Hello listeners and welcome to Daily Current Affairs Updates 10th November 2022. This is RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first daily update which belongs to the category of important day World Science Day for Peace and Development 10th November. Every year on November 10th the World Science Day for Peace and Development is observed. This day emphasizes the importance of science in society and the importance of engaging the general public in discussions about emerging scientific issues. The first World Science Day for Peace and Development was held on November 10th, 2002 under the auspices of UNESCO. The event was a successful result of the 1999 World Conference on Science in Budapest. The theme of this year is Basic Sciences for Sustainable sustainable development now let's move forward to our second daily update which belongs to the category of international lula da silva defeats bolsonaro to return as brazil's president for the third time According to the Brazilian Electoral Commission, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva of the Leftist Workers Party defeated incumbent Jair Bolsonaro to become the country's next president. With 98.8% of the runoff votes counted, da Silva had 50.8% and Bolsonaro had 49.2% and the election authority declared da Silva's victory mathematically certain. Former president da Silva who who served from 2003 to 2010 had promised to restore the country's more prosperous past but he faces challenges in a polarized society now let's move forward to our third daily update which belongs to the category of books morning marvels a book by artist appa ramesh launched former tamil nadu health minister h v hande launched the book morning marvels written by artist and writer appa ramesh Mr Hande stated at an event hosted by Crazy Creations and Alliance Publishers that this book had taken a lot of thought and effort to create. This book's musings and content are excellent, he said. Mr Ramesh stated that the book was a collection of feel good messages that he had been sending to his friends for a long time and that the book was released with the intention of spreading positivity and enthusiasm now let's move forward to our fourth daily update which belongs to the category of international j y l e e named as executive chairman of samsung electronics The appointment of J Y Lee as executive chairman of Samsung Electronics has been approved by the company's board of directors. The appointment was approved by the board after being recommended by independent director and board chairman Han Jo Kim. In approving the recommendation, the board cited the current uncertain global business environment as well as the pressing need for stronger accountability and business stability. J. Y. Lee, 54, had previously served as vice chairman of Samsung Electronics. Now let's move forward to our fifth daily update which belongs to the category of rank and report. India's defense ministry is world's biggest employer, Statista report. According to a report by Statista, the defense ministry of India is the world's biggest employer with 2.92 million personnel which includes active service personnel reservists and civilian staff according to a recent study conducted by statista a germany based data and statistics firm the indian ministry of defense mod is the world's largest employer with 29 lakh 2.92 million employees according to the study the us department of defense ranks second with 2.91 million members Now let's move forward to our sixth daily update which belongs to the category of rank and report. 103 million people forcibly displaced worldwide reveals UNHCR report. In Geneva the UNHCR announced that the number of people forcibly displaced from their homes due to persecution conflict violence human rights violations and events seriously disrupting public order Worldwide increased to 103 million in the first half of 2022 representing one in every 77 people on the planet.
The total number of refugees and people in need of international protection worldwide increased by 24% from 25.7 million at the end of 2021 to 32 million by mid 2022 according to the report. Now let's move forward to our seventh daily update which belongs to the category of rank and report. BPCL recognized as country's most sustainable oil and gas company. In the 2022 edition of the S&P Dow Jones Sustainability Indices DJSI Corporate Sustainability Assessment CSA Rankings Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited BPCL a Maharatna and a Fortune Global 500 company was ranked first in the Indian oil and gas sector for its sustainability performance. This is BPCL's third year in a row at the top of the DJSI. This benchmarking is a thorough examination of economic, environmental and social factors with a strong emphasis on long-term shareholder value. Now let's move forward to our eighth daily update which belongs to the category of defense. Rajnath Singh virtually launches two helipads in Ladakh, unveils 75 infra projects. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has launched 75 new projects including the virtual launch of two helipads one in Hanli and one in Thakung both in eastern Ladakh in a major push to key defence infrastructure these helipads will improve the Indian Air Force's operational capabilities in the region The Border Roads Organization BRO completed 75 projects including 45 bridges, 27 roads, 2 helipads and 1 carbon neutral habitat. 20 projects are in Jammu and Kashmir and another 18 in Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. Now let's move forward to the ninth daily update which belongs to the category of economy. Retail jewelry major Malabar becomes first Indian jeweler to import 25 kg gold from UAE. Malabar Gold and Diamonds has become India's first jeweler to import 25 kg of gold under the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement CEPA between India and the UAE. According to the agreement the gold was imported through ICICI bank with a 1% duty rebate Malabar Gold and Diamonds became one of the first beneficiaries of the India UAE CEPA in May 2022 when it was granted permission to export jewelry from India to the UAE with tax breaks Now let's move forward to the 10th and last daily update for today which belongs to the category of awards. West Bengal's Lakshmir Bhandar scheme bags the SKOCH Scotch Award. West Bengal has won the prestigious Scotch Award in the category of women and child development for its popular Lakshmir Bhandar scheme according to Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. According to her the government prioritizes women's empowerment. The West Bengal government launched the scheme in August 2021 to provide financial assistance to a woman who is the head of the family and is between the age of 25 and 60. The scheme provides rupees 500 per month for those in the general caste category and around 1000 rupees per month for those in the SC and ST categories. So with this we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Updates 10th November 2022. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.